Uh, my name is Trevor Block. I'm Group CEO of VROC. Uh, my name's Ian Anderson. I'm the UK CEO of VROC. And we're here today at the OGV breakfast at the Offshore Technology Conference. Um, we just had this very interesting panel discussion. What are some of your takeaways from, from what you heard today? Um, well, it was exciting to see that these companies, these large organizations, are really serious about innovation now. I think um, some of the issues that they were saying are, are real. Getting the skills that they need to actually implement these projects is very difficult. But the fact that they are realizing that they're problems now and, and that they're trying to implement strategies to overcome that is, is quite encouraging. Uh, to add to that, it's, it's just great to see that uh, the industry is forward thinking and the, the leaders that were there on the panel today are very much behind change in this industry because without change we won't move forward and, uh, and I think the panel there were, were really, really behind getting, making oil and gas better for the environment uh, and the sustainability of oil and gas. So I think that's, that, that's a positive movement. At the same time, there's there's some significant challenges to this digital transition that's being talked about. What what do you see as some of the biggest hurdles right now? Uh, the biggest challenge that we see all the time is definitely um, making these solutions stick in organizations. So change management is a huge issue. Um, what we often see with this technology is organizations implement some new technology and it's fantastic and it gives them really good results. but but. Embedding that technology in the DNA of the organization is really difficult. It's really easy for people to sort of fall back on their, on their previous way of working, I guess, and, and you know, after six months you go back to the way it was before. So really embedding this new tech into the organization is, is, is quite a challenge. And how do you convince organizations to overcome that sort of uh, inertia that exists within their organizations? Uh, I think it's through education, you know, knowledge is power. And I think when initially when we speak to people, it's, uh, it's about, uh, 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 and teaching them how to empower their data um, and how to move forward uh, with with certain things that they haven't looked at in the past. So, um, I I would say the barrier that we get is is lack of knowledge. And then once we get in and we're able to educate, um, people will see the benefits in uh, in moving forward in digitization in this industry. And let's talk a little bit about outcomes. There was a lot of discussion to that today. If this technology is implemented and it achieves its fullest potential, what is the industry going to look like in, in 10 years or 15 years? Yeah, I mean, it's just all about efficiency, isn't it? It's about optimizing the assets they've already got. Um, a lot of these assets, especially in oil and gas, are you know, now 30, 40 years old. And how do we extend the life of those assets and get the most out of them? And I suppose this new technology that we're seeing is, is able to do that and able to do that quite cost effectively. Um, I mean, even for new assets, we're seeing the new assets are so technologically complex that even the guys who design it don't fully comprehend all the interactions that are possible. Um, and one of our customers that we're working with in the North Sea, they've lost a billion dollars in, in unplanned shutdowns just over the last 12 months. And so being able to recoup some of those costs and reduce some of those, those, um, those downtime events is going to be very important. There was a lot of talk about automation in the panel today and the role that automation might play on things like offshore rigs in the future. Uh, what, what, is a, what is a drilling rig, what, what is a platform going to look like, or if I'm, if I'm a platform worker in, in uh, you know, 2030, uh, what am I going to see? Well, I, I, I think if you listen, especially to the Norwegian market, their, their view is they, they want automated platforms. They want to remove people from the platforms because uh, when they're there, they're at risk, and uh, you know, uh, and I think that's that's the way it will move forward. I don't think there will always be a need for people within the industry because you're going to have to go there when there's an issue. But the, the idea moving forward is is to remove the risk, and the risk really is is on the human element. All right, gentlemen, thank you very much.